city of Gotham. What has NextGen allowed you guys to do in terms of detail that people will be seeing? NextGen for us has really opened up the opportunity to deliver not just the detail that we've always been committed to in our previous games, but to do that on an epic scale. So scale and detail, it's usually one or the other, but with NextGen you can really do both. So Arkham Asylum and Arkham City were very highly detailed game worlds, and we really wanted to take that to the next level uh, in Batman Arkham Knight. To do it on the scale, we're building out the entirety of Gotham City at that kind of level. It's a huge creative and technical challenge, but that was something we were really passionate about doing, and that's what we've delivered. Can you talk a little about the atmosphere? It seems a very gritty uh, uh, feel for this game. Gotham City's got a very specific atmosphere, and we spend a lot of time just making sure that's right. And it's not just one thing, you know, it's a combination of uh, the atmospherics of light and reflections, it's always raining, it's always night time, making sure that the echoes through the streets sound right, they feel right. As you're moving through the city, the kind of style of architecture changes, but it all needs to feel like it's still part of the same continuous city. It's a really difficult challenge. Our art director, Dave Hugo, spends the bulk of his time just making sure every corner of the city feels highly detailed, handcrafted, but all of it feels like Gotham City. Can you talk a little about the story and what's going on? The story of Batman Arkham Knight really picks up 12 months after the death of Joker at the end of Arkham uh, City. So um, Joker's death has sort of left this power vacuum in Gotham and the Scarecrow has returned to really take control of that and, and deliver the vengeance that he's been planning since Batman took him down in, in Arkham Asylum. So Scarecrow is really unifying the rogues gallery and the intention of that unified threat is to destroy the Batman once and for all. When it comes to uh, Kevin Conroy, how were you able to entice him out of retirement to return as the bat? Um, I don't know how we did that, but I think that the the relationship we've had with Kevin has been very long-standing, and for us, you know, he's just so brilliant to work with. Um, Sefton and the script writing team, I think, have done a fantastic job. So it's brilliant that you know, he just steps up and he's just instantly Batman. So it's it's perfect from our perspective. We don't have to do very much to get a fantastic performance out of Kevin. What has been the challenge of trying to raise the bar and have this final culmination for your trilogy? Um, I think the biggest challenge has been really thinking about what is the standout feature. We've established so many systems and mechanics throughout the course of Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Really thinking about what makes this game unique um, was was part of the conceptual process that we went through. But as soon as we decided, right, the Batmobile is it, a lot of other technical decisions were just made for us. We knew we had to commit exclusively to next gen in order to bring that to life, and we're really grateful that Warner Brothers have been totally cool with us just committing to next gen uh, hardware in order to, to deliver on the Batmobile. Um, so that was the thing for us. We spent a lot of time thinking about how to make Batman Arkham Knight feel very unique, but the answer is Batman. Have you guys had a sense now with this being the, the, the final game in the trilogy to kind of look back at the bigger picture? There's been a lot of Batman games before you guys came along, but none ever that stood out as, as well as this one has, both from a critical and a commercial standpoint. Uh, we tend to be looking to the future a lot, but I think, you know, in the fullness of time when game, game historians look back on the Arkham trilogy, the thing that will stand out as memorable is the fact that it was a series of games that genuinely made me feel like Batman. That's all we've wanted to do right from day one of Arkham Asylum, to make a game that makes players genuinely feel like they are Batman. And that's been at the heart of all of our thinking for the last 10 years, and um, I think that's how this trilogy will be remembered.